Welcome back guys to part 180 of Summertime Saga. I'm Miss Kitty TK and finally, wow, I've made so many episodes. Aren't you tired guys? <laughs> Can I ask you why you hired her in the first place? I didn't. My stupid husband hired her. And not for her cleaning abilities, I can't tell you that. Why don't you just replace her with someone else? Like it's that simple. Find me someone who will do housework for less than minimum wage and put up with my husband constantly harassing them. If I do, will you let me take Consuela out of here? You want to take her? Yes. For what? You know what? Never mind. I don't care. Take her. Though, why you want that ugly bitch is beyond me. She can't even speak English. I'll bring your replacement, don't worry. Uh-huh. Bring me a leprechaun too, while you're at it. Mm, so I need to find someone who will clean his house for less than minimum wage and won't be bothered by the mayor constantly harassing them. I'm never going to find someone like that. This was such a crappy plan. Maybe I should speak with Freaky and see if he knows anyone that might be willing. Mm, so if I should speak with him, then I will go here. Hey, they're good looking. Why don't you pop that shirt? Yeah, you always say the same things. Replacement for Consuela. Good news. I if I, I think I found a way to see Consuela get free of this place. Really? How did you manage that? The mayor's wife says I just need to find a replacement maid. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Who's going to willingly work for the wages the rumps pay and put up with Mrs. Rump when he gets handsy? Well, I was hoping you might know somebody. <laughs> Even illegal immigrants have standards. I'm not sure I'd be comfortable suggesting it to them either. Oh, crap. Trust me, nobody's going to put up with this place if they don't have to. There's gotta be someone. Yeah, right. What you need is a prostitute or something. A prostitute? Yeah, a real desperate prostitute. We don't have anything like that in Somerville. Ha! There you go. Being all naive again. Anything else I can help you with? No. No prostitutes in Somerville. <laughs> Do we really have sex workers in our small town? I guess it wouldn't hurt to look into it. <laughs> where should, where I'm going to look for them? This is crazy. Where am I supposed to watch? Like, seriously? Desperate prostitutes? Well, they must need toys. Maybe I should ask at pink. Oh, very good. Hey, that's areas of limits. Blah, 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 blah. Where I'm going? Where am I going? Fuck it. Okay, so since it's too late, she go to sleep and then I will go and look at pink. Uh, terrible. Just terrible. I have also a terrible headache. Okay, pink. Sorry, I just noticed <laughs> that I was doing that strange sound. Oh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Hi, can I help you with something? Oh, okay. Would you be interested in doing a bit of maid work for the mayor? Maid work? Is that a euphemism or for something? No. He needs someone to clean his house. Huh? <laughs> do I look like a maid to you? You do not. Well, there you go. Ah, oh, crap. Maybe try a maid service or something? No, that won't work. Why not? The mayor has some <coughs> special needs. You mean... Uh, yeah. You know what? I might just have the answer to your problem. Really? Yeah, uh, just give me one... Uh-huh. There we go. Thought bot. Realistic genitalia. The ultimate cleaning solution for lonely men. Thought bot. A cleaning solution for lonely men with realistic genitalia. L is this for real? Yep. I used to have one here in the shop, but some lady in a lab cart bought it. Mm, this could actually work. Could you get me one? If you got the money, I could have it here in a few days. How much? With shipping, let's say $1,000. $1,000? Oh my god. So, fine, here you go, we have money. 
Fine, here you go. Perfect. I'll order it right away. Come back and pick it up in a few days. Okay. Alright, thanks. Okay. Then I have to wait. Then I have to do something else. Mm -hmm. I would like to talk... Oh, right. Eric is at school. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I really don't know what I should do with Diane. Really, I really don't know. Mm. I'm just going around and around randomly. Maybe I should go... Well, I would like to go in here and see... Oh, okay. Morning, Odette. Oh, hey there, big fella. You're here early. Yeah. Is he home? I'm not sure. Can I go up and check? Sure. But before you do that, he never properly thanked you for help with Grace. Oh, there's no need. I'm just happy everything worked out. Everything is working out, right? Oh, yes. Grace and I have finally turned a corner in our relationship. Things are better now than they've ever been. Well, I'm glad to hear it. We're almost like a couple. That's wonderful, that. And the sex. Ew, you should hear the noises that girl makes when I'm going down on her. She's all quiet, squeaks and whimpers. It's beyond adorable. Um, Eve is nothing but smiles, lady, as well. You must be giving her some of that good D, huh? Um, come on, big fella, give me some deeds. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Oh? You know what, I will cause it here because I'm an also and I will do it in the ne next episode. So I hope you enjoyed, comment me and see you in my next video. <coughs> see you guys.